untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Explorer Gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another fight rigging combo deck, but this one's got an interesting twist. We're also playing with Sorin alongside Galta and Mavern. And while Galta and Mavern is mostly a dinosaur, there's also a tiny vampire riding Galta, which is why we can cheat it into play as early as turn 2 in this deck using Sorin Imperius Bloodlord's minus 3 ability, letting us put a vampire creature card from our hand onto the battlefield. And then we get a 12-12 Trampler, saying whenever we attack, doesn't have to be with Galta itself, we get to choose one, either create a tapped and attacking XX Green Dinosaur Creature token with Trample, where X is the greatest power among other attacking creatures, or we get to make a bunch of 1-1 life-linking vampire tokens for each other attacking creature, although the vampires won't be attacking right away. So we're often going to choose the Trampling Dinosaur, which also synergizes very nicely alongside some of our high-powered creatures, like Rotting Regisaur and Shakedown Heavy, which we can also play as early as turn 2, all thanks to the 8 to 1 mana elves, elvish mystic and lenor elves, which can play a turn 2 Sorin to then put a Galta on the battlefield. And then Rotting Regisaur and Shakedown Heavy have a ton of power, which is great to combine with Fight Rigging, which lets us hide away 5, so we get to take a look at the top 5 cards of our library, exile one of them face down, and then at the beginning of combat on our turn we get to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature we control, then if we control a creature with power 7 or greater, doesn't have to be the same creature we targeted, we can play the exiled card without paying its mana cost. So that's another way of potentially casting a Galta without having to pay its mana cost, and that's why the Sorin and Galta combo overlaps so nicely with the Regisaur Shakedown Heavy Fight Rigging combo is because finding a Galta with Fight Rigging is great since we now get to cast it for free and if we have a Galta on the battlefield that we put in play with Sorin now we can also play Fight Rigging and enable it right away to potentially find more goodies. And then uh, besides fight rigging, we can also potentially get the benefit of a Great Henge early, thanks to Regisaur and Shakedown Heavy giving it a massive discount, so we can easily play it, and then it will gain us life, generate extra mana, and draw us extra cards whenever a creature enters, so also a nice way of still making good use of our mana elves later in the game. And then to give us a tiny bit of interaction, we've got four copies of Fatal Push, and then I'm also packing two copies of Ray of Enfeeblement, which is mostly here to answer Grease Fang, which is otherwise pretty difficult for us to beat. So this gives us an instant speed answer for the Rat Pilot before it can get back up Parhelion, since we won't be able to enable Revolt on Fatal Push, so that's not going to be a great answer. And then besides Grease Fang, we can kill one Mana Elves with it, plenty of other 1-drops that have 1 toughness, can even kill the Angels from the Angel Life Gain deck, there's Omnath from the various Fires of Invention decks that have also taken out with Ray of Enfeeblement, so there's no lack of targets for it. And then we're also packing four copies of Turn Timber Symbiosis as another expensive card we can potentially play for free with Fight Rigging, and that's another way of potentially finding a Galta and Mavern, or some of the other creatures in the deck, and then those will also receive additional plus one plus one counters on them. And finally we have two copies of Lord Xander as another expensive vampire we can cheat into play with Sorin if we don't draw Galta, and this will make the opponent discard half of their hand when it enters the battlefield. When it attacks, the opponent will have to mill half of their library, and when it dies, target opponent sacrifices half of the non-land permanents they control, rounded down each time. And we can even sacrifice Lord Xander to enable that last ability to Sorin's plus one ability, dealing three damage and gaining three life in the process. That ability would also synergize nicely with a Silver Smote Ghoul, which I tried out in the deck, but eventually ended up cutting that combo, even though we could get back the Ghoul over and over using Sorin's plus one ability. And then the other plus one can also give a creature life link and death touch until end of turn, and if it's a vampire it also gets a plus one counter, so that can also synergize nicely with a trampling Galta, so we only need to assign one damage to each creature blocking it, and the rest gets to trample over, and then just giving a Regisaur lifelink can also be very helpful in a racing situation. And then a mana base has plenty of black-green dual lands, so we can play our early elves and still potentially cast a double black Obosh, which we get to play as companion, since we only have oddly costed cards in this deck. As you can see, plenty of 1-drops, 3-drops, and then some expensive 7 and even 9-drops. So we get to play with Obosh, which is a 3-5 that will double our damage output once on the battlefield. So also quite powerful if the game drags out. And then Boseju has an extra channel land for added interaction. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got Fight Rigging plus Regisaur, so we'll give it a shot. Even though we don't have any one-mana plays. Put 
opponent with turn one mystic, green white, so it could be an angel's deck. Alright. So Skyclave Apparitions, the main interaction we have to worry about. There's a Resplendent Angel on two. Yeah, I'm still gonna jam Regisaur here so we can actually start attacking. And Bishop, so that can potentially set up 5 life gain for Resplendent. Discard one Sorin. And another fight rigging could come in handy. Let's hope to hit a Galta. We don't, but we hit maybe a Symbiosis, as opposed to fight rigging, which if our opponent does answer Regisaur, it's going to be pretty bad for us. So we get to cast this for zero mana, finding a Lord Xander. Sure. Opponent discards two cards. And then we can give our Lord Xander a life link and death touch next turn potentially. Could also sacrifice it to use its last ability here, making the opponent sacrifice half the non-land permanence they control rounded down. Company only finds the one angel, so they wouldn't be making a token with resplendent, luckily. And we'll just discard a land. I'm down to just play another fight rigging here over Sorin. In the hopes of finding Galta. Another Lord Xander, I guess. So counters on Regisaur. Still cast it, but we'll have to sack a bunch of stuff. And discard a card. And then we can still attack with the original Lord Xander. Opponent sacrifices their two elves. We'll smash. Opponent mills half of their deck. So 24 cards remaining. Definitely a Kale's Reconstruction build with all the mana elves. Bishop chumps. And our opponent falls to four. And then I'll keep Lunar Elves in hand to discard to Regisaur. And our opponent explodes. Next turn we could also maybe sacrifice Lord Xander for an additional 3 damage, although not sure if that's going to be necessary. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we're missing Sorin to go with Galta and Maverin. No fight rigging set up either, so I think this is a Mulgan. Alright, we've got our fight rigging. We don't have a creature to enable it. We've got Galta, no Sorin. But I think this is still good enough. We've got... About 12 cards we're happy to draw between our large creatures and Sorin. So that's quite a few outs. And then for now, let's just play maybe a tapped Symbiosis. Turn on Elves, we can Fatal Push and play our own Elf. Okay, so hoping for Shakedown Heavy, Regisaur, Sorin. Great Henge, we're pretty far from casting, but uh, we'll get the fight rigging going, I suppose. As opposed to put a Bosch in hand and maybe with a land cast it next turn. And uh, already have a Great Henge in hand, so it's either another fight rigging or a Regisaur just as a large creature. Against what I presume to be Mono Green Devotion, a Regisaur can get chumped pretty easily. A Ray of Enfeeblement's unlikely to be super relevant, so yeah, let's just grab another Fight Rigging, which can maybe find a Galta later. And then now if we top deck Shakedown Heavy or Regisaur, we can enable Fight Rigging right away. It's gonna be a Troll. And a Sorin, perfect. Put in Galta. And Maverin, can't forget. And then probably put counters on the Trampler here. And our opponent has seen enough. On to the next one.
Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand's got the potential of a turn two Soren putting Galta. Yeah, sign me up. Of course, there's a lot of interaction our opponent can have in the meantime. All right, up against red aggro, so while they can kill the elves, they probably wouldn't be able to stop Soren putting in Galta if we get to a third mana. Phoenix Chick's fine. Take two. And it looks like they have the burn spell, sadly. Okay, shock my elves. So now we'll need to draw a third land. And it's not looking likely here. We've got the fine rigging to go with Shakedown and Registor as well. So we've got all the combo pieces, just need mana. Preferably a land. Paramancer down to 12. And a fatal push. Well, at least that kills a creature. Kill Pyromancer. And a risk factor. Yeah, we'll let the opponent draw, I think. Alright, there's our lands, but is it too late? It's gotta be Galtan Manfrin with Soren still. Hope they somehow ignore Soren so we can give Galtan Manfrin lifelink next turn. That's probably not gonna happen. Can play a fight rigging next turn as well. Hope to hit maybe a Great Henge to gain some life back. But I could easily see myself dying next turn to a flurry of burn spells. Opponent does make sure to take out Sorin, which means we're probably not dead this turn. This is not my Another Pyromancer down to seven. And another Sorin, okay. Give Galta Mavern a lifelink. That should keep us alive. And her opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we're missing our fight rigging in this case, but we can set up turn to Regisaur. So, still gonna try and keep this. And I think we prefer Regisaur over Shakedown, since it can actually apply pressure, even though we'll have to discard to it. And then a Great Henge could be another pretty nice draw. Opponents turn one bodyguard, so mono white humans. And there's fight rigging, perfect. So, yeah, we'll play Regisaur. Don't expect it to be answered here. And then, even if our opponent plays a turn to Thalia, we can still play fight rigging thanks to the Mystic. So, we'll likely discard an Elves. Bodyguard attacking is strange. Alright. So, discard Lenor Elves. Play Fight Rigging. Is there any counter spell I need to worry about? Mana Tithe isn't legal in Explorer, so. Yeah, Fight Rigging it is. And, uh. Could go for Symbiosis in the hopes of hitting Galta or Lord Xander. As opposed to another Fight Rigging to spin the wheel again. This looks at top 7, this looks at top 5, so. Symbiosis might be the better pick. And there's Galta. Awesome. Attack with Regisaur, make another 8-powered trampling dino right away. And that's game. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and we've got Rigging and Regisaur. Just no 1-mana L for interaction, really. So this may end up being too slow, but I don't think I can mulligan either. Just hope to draw an elf turn 1, basically. And our opponent on banned spirits, most likely. So they might have uh, some interaction here as well. 
At least Wanderer doesn't count for fight rigging outright. Fatal push will come in handy. Gotta watch out for rattle chains. There it is. So do I kill the rattle chains or the mausoleum wanderer? I guess our opponents could counter the fatal push unless we respond to the trigger. Yeah, I guess we kill the rattle chains. Hits a bit harder naturally. Ooh, opponents made an error here. Since we can pay one, the mausoleum wanderer did not pick up plus one plus one yet. So now we got to kill both for free. And our opponent concedes. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Our hand features Mystic into a turn 2 heavy. Galta in case we draw Surin, and of course heavy in case we draw Fight Rigging. So we don't have all the pieces yet, but on the play with turn 1 Mystic I think it's probably still a keep. Got a Fatal Push for Interaction as well. So a lot of great top decks. And at the very least, Heavy can maybe apply a bit of pressure or draw cards. Opponents got Jigalta's Companion. Red-White could be a heroic deck. So, do I want to Register or do I want to Heavy? Opponents likely to take the first hit from Shakedown. And I kind of like all the cards in my hands, so maybe I should wait on deploying Register so we don't discard to hand right away. Fatal push for one of their heroic creatures. Will buy us some time. Unless they've got a God's Willing for protection. Could see Reckless Rage killing our Mystic, but nope. Lord Xander, so we've got two Vampires now, so we can easily discard one of them. Heavy attacks. And then since our opponent's keeping up mana, I should probably go for a Regisaur instead of trying to kill the Hoplite. Ideally, they let us draw and we draw land. Another Mystic instead. So could just play double mystic. What does that accomplish? I guess it gets me closer to putting an ambush on the battlefield. Not going to be hard casting Galta, so sure, we'll just play a Regisaur. And then now I can discard Lord Xander pretty easily. God's willing, okay. Opponent can attack past her two creatures now. Homestead Courage to pump up light. And now they only have red mana available, so Fatal Push should be effective. And there's a Fight Rigging. Alright, I guess we'll give Fight Rigging a try then. Finding Sorin. Our opponent already explodes. Sorin put in play Galta, although it's only going to be second main, so we won't be getting a token from Galta right away. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. We did actually manage to rank up to Diamond, but the game was uneventful. So here we are with a decent hand. No mana elf for one mana interaction, but we have Sorin putting in Galta. As well as Regisaur with fight rigging, so both combos are online. Probably start with Sorin putting in Galta, and then fight rigging is also enabled. Well, we found a one mana elf, so that's lovely. Opponent with a headquarters. So some sort of multicolor deck. Alright, turn to Galta, let's go. Although opponent could easily have removal for it, a leyline binding comes to mind. But this is what it's all about. Our opponents carefully reading Sorin and Galta and Mavron. And our opponent explodes onto the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got two halves of our combo, Regisaur missing Fight Rigging, Sorin missing Galta, but we've got some nice one-mana plays to play turn two Regisaur, Reyes removal, up against a red aggro. So, probably still play Elves. There's a chance they can kill it. And then next turn we can at least kill the Denizen. Okay, Firebrand can deal with Elves. And then still hoping for a Galta off the top. Kill Denizen a response so they don't get a Seder token. A 
Of course, just giving Regisaur lifelink with Soren could also be quite nice in the matchup. Kumano. I'll discard a land for now, I think, even though we could work towards our companion. Another Regisaur. So if I play Soren and give this lifelink, they will likely be able to finish off Soren. If they animate then, also make a 1-1 one -one chum blocker, which is going to be annoying for Regisaur. So I think I'm better off just playing a second Regisaur. And then we'll keep land in hand. So I can discard Soren and land and still cast a Soren to gain life back. But now we can actually block Den so they don't get to make a token for free. And we are now threatening lethal on the following turn. So if we can force them to chum block, that would be great. Burning tree. Okay. So they can potentially play multiple creatures to chump. Ooh, Torbran. Okay, so now Annex can hit incredibly hard. Elves a draw. Well, still probably giving a Regisaur a lifelink here and smash. Opponent gets to trade for one of them. Burning Tree also chumps. So they get to make a whole army of Seder tokens, which also deal three with Torbran out. So we could still be in danger. Especially now with the Den attacking as well. They can leave Etching back to maybe chump. So run down. Discard Elves to the Regisaur. So probably never gonna cast a bush. So fight rigging off the top is definitely our best draw. Opponents attacking all outs. So they've got something else planned, second main. Possible it's an Ember Cleave. Down to 13 we go. My heart is too hollow to kick. And a Stomp dealing four. Play Bone Crusher, which can also trade for Regisaur. Well, we did top deck a fight rigging. Not sure if it's going to save me here, but let's have a look. So fight rigging, putting a counter on Regisaur means we can attack past Bone Crusher without trading at least. But yeah, we should still be pretty dead. So yeah, let's go for Lord Xander, the coolest of the options. So sure. Opponent takes it. And then an all-out attack should do it. Alright, GG's. Definitely an interesting game. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Can set up an early Great Henge, thanks to a turn 2 heavy, potentially. We've got a Ray has removal against a white deck, should be effective. Unless this is blue-white control. Bishop of Wings, alright. I think we still play heavy, and then next turn we'll take care of it. So green-white angel life game once again. And a resplendent angel. Might be the bigger priority here over bishop. Who found a galta. So it can play great henge and then we can still cast our array of enfeeblements. As opposed to putting obosh in hand. So let's attack. The danger of waiting to cast Ray until the opponent's turn is them casting a Collected Company at instant speed. So, I think we just get rid of the Resplendent. I guess casting it in their upkeep could have worked, since that way the Spirit can't actually attack us. Don't know if the one damage is really going to make a huge difference. And then we don't want to forget to gain two life here.
Overseer alongside Bishop. Could have gained them 5 life to enable Resplendent Angel. A Rotting Regisaur draws a card with a Henge, and then I can still put an Obosh in hand. Looks good. Not too far from casting Symbiosis. Ooh, Sorin put in Galtan Mavron. Don't mind if I do. Lord Xander's also tempting, but this applies a bit more pressure as we get to attack and make a dino. Undrawn Elf can still cast it here. Draw with a henge. And we're not too far from putting an Abosh on the battlefield either. Alright, so Collected Company could still save them. But it's gotta be a good one. A Moon Dancer instead, alright, so some author of life gain payoffs and a Jada. Puna's still at a healthy 21 life, but it's about to change. Soren dies to the Overseer. So no giving Galta a lifelink. Discard Xander, which we're not gonna cast. Find another Galta and Mavern. So if we put this in hand, we can actually still cast it if we tap very carefully. Don't trust the auto-tapper. So now we get to deal double the damage. And that should be game. We'll go for a Trampling Dino. Hopefully your opponent lets damage happen so we can see a big number. The interaction between Trample and Obosh's ability is kind of interesting, since we don't get to Trample for as much damage as we would like, but still plenty enough to win the game here. Alright, we're on the play, and our hand is missing Sorin, missing one of our bigger creatures to enable an early Great Henge. So we have a lot of outs, 12 cards we're excited to draw. Yeah, I think we'll still give it a try here. Buseju, opponent playing a world tree with a Gigantas companion, so not sure what to expect. Alright, Shakedown Heavy and Regisaur would be nice top decks. For now, maybe grab a Sorin so that if we do find one of those creatures, we can put a Galta in play. Next turn, maybe put a Bosch in hand and cast it on turn 4. Still a fine backup plan. Thoughtseize probably takes Henge. And find an Elf. So we'll play the Elf and put a Bosch in hand. And then should I spread things out a little bit? It's probably fine. Alright, Invasion of Tarkir to kill an elf. Can still play a Bosch at the moment. Another thought sees to take it away. Alright, that does it. Just waiting for a Shakedown Heavy or Regisaur off the top. Chariots. Good way of pressuring the invasion. Alright, there we go. Regisaur casts a free Sorin. And where to put to counter here? Probably fine on the Mystic. Wouldn't be able to put Galt in play before attacking, but we'll hit for four. Chariot's gonna jump in front. And then minus three. Free Galta. And next turn that could decimate the opponent's board, especially combined with a Regisaur, making an eight-powered Trampler. But we'll see if our opponent has answers. 
junt colors and nope no answers for galta so yeah got to see our galta and mavern deck in action and it certainly exceeded my expectations thought it was going to be pretty inconsistent but the fact that we have two completely separate combos that also happen to overlap nicely having galta to enable fight rigging and having galta as a nice payoff to fight with the fight rigging works out quite nicely and there may still be ways of upgrading the deck in the future since there are some expensive vampires in pioneer that we don't have access to on arena so those could potentially replace lord xander which is not quite as exciting as galta and mavern so yeah that's going to do it for today's gameplay want to thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.